Thank you, John. Take a look at this video of lines wrapped around the health department all day as hundreds of people waited to get their turn to get a hepatitis A vaccine. Thousands of people were potentially exposed at the Little Rock Road Hardy's restaurant. And for some of them, the deadline to get vaccinated is today. Now the clinics will be open for one more hour. Tonight at 6, we have team coverage from both clinics as we talk to worried Hardy's customers and the question the health department is asking about what is happening next. We start with Eyewitness News reporter Tina Terry. She's live at the clinic on Beatty's Ford Road with a look at how long it took to get through that line. Well, yes, Allison, the line out here fluctuated all day long. You can see no one standing outside right now. They're all inside of the building. But earlier today, that line was stretched all the way to the back of the building. Some waited more than an hour to get this vaccine. Mark Fritz had a good attitude about waiting in this line in the heat. This is another thing in life to go through. That's how I look at it. Just just go with the flow. Others were livid. A good shot should be okay, but still it's aggravation of missing time from work. Michael Rapp ate at this Hardee's on Little Rock Road in West Charlotte. At the same time, an employee with hepatitis A was working there. Health officials say he became contagious as early as June 13th and worked through June 23rd. I won't go back there. I won't go back to any Hardee's. It makes me wonder about all fast food places. All restaurants. Many heard about it on the news and waited 15 minutes to an hour to get a hepatitis A vaccine. A friend of mine called and asked me if I heard about the uh, hepatitis deal going on at uh, Hardy's, and I went, whoa. But health officials say everyone in the county should be on alert. Already this year, 12 people have contracted the disease, which is spread through bodily fluids two times the number of cases last year. People need to um, pay attention to what the symptoms of hepatitis A are. Yeah, and diarrhea, vomiting, and nausea are just some of those symptoms. Health officials say this is the largest outbreak of this disease in recent history here in the county. All of the victims, not all of them, but most of them rather, have been hospitalized and all of them have recovered. Reporting live tonight in West Charlotte, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Tina, thank you for that report. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Bruno continues our team coverage tonight. He's live at the other clinic on Billingsley Road and just got an update from the health department in the past 45 minutes. What have you learned? Well, Allison, I learned that 895 people received the hepatitis A vaccine today, but expect long lines at clinics like this one to continue because that's not even a quarter of the amount of folks the health department says are impacted by this. Health department leaders say they do not anticipate any shortages for supplies. The state has provided Mecklenburg with the vaccine. The county is providing the shot at no charge if you ate at the Hardee's on Little Rock Road between June 13th and June 23rd or if you meet a risk factor. Last night, county commissioners expressed frustration to me about the health department's outreach efforts. The county has yet to say what they are going to do differently and how they are going to notify people who ate at Hardee's and live out of state. Some commissioners aren't happy with the lack of answers from the top. Pat Cotham thinks the county needs to dramatically improve on this front. We need to be transparent and we need to be, you know, to really give this information out and ask people to share it with others. I sent the county a detailed list of 15 different questions that I have yet to receive answers to, but I'm not giving up, and I hope to have responses to those questions by Obvious News at 10 and 11. Reporting live in Southeast Charlotte, I'm Joe Bruno, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, we'll keep checking back with you. Thanks. And Channel 9 noticed a local law firm already started advertising, saying you may deserve money if you ate at Hardee's over the past couple of weeks. This is the Campbell and Associates website. You can see they have a whole page dedicated to the issue. We reached out to the law firm today to ask if anyone has contacted them, but we have not heard back. We've also been reaching out to Hardee's for a statement, but we haven't heard back from them either. The restaurant was closed today. We saw people inside, but it's not clear exactly what they were doing. We've posted everything you need to know about this outbreak, including the clinic hours inside this story on WSOCTV.com.